It's moving day, it's moving day. Hey baby, hey. It's moving day, it's moving day. Hey baby, hey. I remember that the first time I had heard that was uh, there was an episode of Full House where they were getting ready to move and little Michelle was, was singing that. And every now and again, it gets caught in my head, especially like when we were moving into here and stuff. But so it has finally, finally happened. The, hold on a second. The rabbit tractor that we had Thelma and Louise in, AKA Tom and Lewis, when we realized that we uh, made a critical error in sexing them. Um, it has been modified with hardware cloth on the bottom here instead of just the normal bigger stuff that the rabbits use. Um, so we modified it so that way the chicks, little tiny feet, won't fall through and get hurt. So we are going to attempt to move all of these chicks from this cage here into the rabbit tractor here. And hopefully none of them fly out because the lid opens from the top so they can very easily just sort of fly their way out. Hopefully this will go smoothly. Um, if not, well. The phone will get dropped and we'll be playing catch the chicks. No, I was setting up the tripod. Ah. Let's get a good angle here so that way everybody can see what we got going on. Alright, do you want to try to set the cage in here to see if we can post the walk out? I think it's going to be really hard to get the cage back out because it's not much, the cage isn't much smaller than the tracking. It's not as long, but okay, if you want to just do it the dangerous way. Well, I was going to say, I'll grab them, you work the lid. The lid of the tractor? Yeah. Okay. I really feel like this is the more difficult way. back inside. Like, I don't want to be a free bird. We got some really pretty ones. Yeah, I think we ended up with a lot of sea white crosses. Yeah. Do you have the food and water ready? No. Okay. I didn't know. definitely more successful than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I thought it was going to be much more complicated to do that. So I'll show you guys. Everybody's in there. I don't know what the lighting how this is going to go. There we go. So if we have a lot of very, very beautiful birds. Um, the reason that they are missing some feathers on their backs is because they were in the cage and there wasn't a way for them to really truly dust bath. Um, we had intended on, I'm going to spin you guys around, we had intended on getting them out um, outside like a week or two ago when I first butchered those two rabbits, but there has been just such a massive, massive amount of rain that like it wouldn't have been safe. Like even last night, it, it stormed so bad last night, like we were kind of scared and stuff and it just, it kept downpouring and you know, these tractors, I'll show you guys. These tractors here are only elevated off of the ground by a little like two by two. So there's not really, this off so you guys can see. There's not really much spacing in here and stuff. So if, they, if it started raining really super badly, the chicks could potentially get very wet and then cold and you know, that just, wouldn't be no fun for them, wouldn't be no fun for us. So we are gonna just leave the um, rabbit feeder over there 
just because there is a hole in the cage over there if we were to take that out that then predators could get in the chicks could get out and it's just not good um but yeah so moving day was definitely definitely a success and they'll they'll figure out that that's food in there because they already are used to that style of a feeder and stuff um so yeah if you guys are enjoying our content please give our videos a thumbs up share it with your friends on social media and if you haven't already please subscribe to help us grow we would greatly appreciate it all right thanks for watching have a good one you gonna say bye bye <laughs>